Codger Dodger, this is MC Codger saying welcome back to Codger's World where we are creating a, uh, well, a self-sufficient, self-contained, productive, uh, and protected village. Plus, we're making it in such a way that we can see everything that's going on because we're making it out of glass. Now... Uh, last time, remember, I showed you my, my trick. We're, we're kind of doing this in survival just for fun. Uh, we could have done it in creative, but I wanted to do it in survival. And so here's a way that I can very rapidly get the materials I need. Remember, we put uh, the command block in there. Uh, command block, by the way, you, you, you can't find it in the, uh, in, in the little uh, inventory button. Uh, it's not there. You have to be in creative and you have to use the give command uh, slash give at p uh, uh, and then uh, command underscore block and then it will give you one and then you can set it you have to set it in uh, creative and give it the command in creative but then once you've done that you can operate it from uh, from survival mode and that's what we're going to do so we're looking over here we got a bunch of stuff we can choose from uh, we're going to start off with uh, uh, glass, and so we'll push this button. Uh, I used to use pressure plates, but then villagers would step on the pressure plates, and then, like, I'd have a teleport command, and next thing I know, I'm somewhere way far away because some villager stood on a pressure plate. So I use buttons now because villagers can't push the buttons. Uh, even, my goodness, even sheep can stand on a pressure plate and, and cause things to happen that you might not want to happen at the moment. So I'll push this button, and it just, you can see it popped up in my hotbar, 64 glass. Push the button again, more glass, more glass, uh, more glass, more glass, and plenty of glass, you see, because we're going to need quite a bit. Uh, in order to uh, make this part of a village. So now we're going to run over here with our new, with our glass. Uh, and we're going to, let's say, take uh, one of these walls. Let's take this wall. Let's make this wall be where our villagers are going to, going to be. And I want to come out from this wall uh, four. Uh, so we come... And just for fun, we can do it this way. We can put a glass here, and a glass here, and a glass here, uh, and a glass here, right? And that will uh, that will give us kind of a sloped roof kind of a thing, just for fun. We we could just go straight out. Normally I do, to be honest with you, but uh, we're going to. Uh, create this roof all the way across so I'll get back to you here as soon as we get that done okay now we're done with that and then we're gonna start uh, we're gonna put in some floor and or some walls I mean, <laughs> we've got the floor we're gonna put in walls here uh, we got the ceiling now we're gonna put in walls but every so f so often we're going to leave space for a door, and then we'll fill in the door. So let me fill in these walls, leave some space, and I'll be right back. Okay, we got our uh, <laughs> we got our wall in place, and it's starting to rain. Let's go get some doors. Run over here right quick, and you can see I have uh, used up quite a few of my glass blocks, not all of them. We'll use some of them later, but let me get some doors. Let's see, where's the doors at? There's our doors. I push that button and I end up with 10 acacia doors uh, showing up. So I should see them here somewhere. Uh, and there they are. I already had 10, so now I got 20. Or no, yeah, so now I got 20. Uh, and you can see it became daylight. You might have caught that. My. Uh, uh, a little daylight trick worked. So let's go over here and set some doors. Door. Now we got doors, and we're going to have to get in out of the rain. 
Uh, I'll run and grab some beds, and I'll be right back. Okay, I picked up some beds. Let's get in here out of the rain. Now, this is going to be, okay, we're kind of an economy operation here, and we're saving space. So this is going to be kind of like, uh, uh, it's going to be kind of like the military, where you live in a barracks. And, you know, villagers, I've never seen a villager get undressed, so that's not really an issue. And sometimes you have more than one villager in a, in a, uh, uh, in a, in a, in a house. And so what we're going to do is just have a whole bunch of villagers in this, this is their sleeping quarters. So I got beds, decided to go red, white, and blue, red, white, and blue, just, uh, you know, patriotic or something. So, uh. There's a red, there's a white, there's a blue, and I've got some more. Let me just fill these in, and we'll be good to go. So, Okay, here we are. Now we have 15 beds in here, room for 15 villagers, and uh, uh, we'll probably make another barracks on the other side for another 15, uh, so we can have you know 30 villagers. That's a good good uh, number of villagers in this village so we got uh, 15 here and uh, that's where we're going to leave it for now so here's a way that you can protect your villagers give them a place to sleep where <laughs> it doesn't take up too much space and uh, and gives them togetherness you know kind of like the brotherhood of the army or something so anyway uh, we're going to leave it there and pick up next time. And we will say, until then, Codger's world in our new village that we're creating. And uh, we will see you next time.